We are a generation who loves God. We are a generation who trusts in God. We will always hope in God. Greetings, greetings, greetings in the wonderful, precious, holy name of Jesus. It is Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez here coming to you once again with a prayer and a word that will bless you. Today I want to share a prophecy for 2024. And I want to start by naming this year that's coming. The year of great encounters with God. But I'll get more into this word as we begin. Let us start by welcoming the Holy Spirit. Wherever you are in your own words, welcome the Holy Spirit in the place where you're watching. Precious Holy Spirit of God, we welcome you. Come Lord Holy Spirit and touch us and speak to us and show us great and mighty things in Christ. Lead us closer to Jesus. I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. But dear friend, as I was seeking the Lord concerning the year 2024, as I was waiting on Him and as I was listening, this is the word that He placed in my heart to share. There are certain things coming in this world and the way to be covered is to make God your refuge. Seek that you may know Him Seek that you may know Him more. Seek that your relationship with Him may go to another level. And this will lead to great and glorious encounters with God. But in the season that's coming, also beware of deception. In the season, in the year of 2024, make a conscious decision to draw near to God through prayer and reading His Word, and it shall be well with you. You will see what it means when the Bible says, A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. 2024 shall be a very good year for those who choose to deepen and strengthen their relationship with God and their knowledge of the Word. Now I'm not saying trials won't come. I'm not saying attacks won't come, but what I am saying is that when they come, they will find you so close to God, so deep in His presence, that they won't be able to affect you. This prophetic instruction will bring prophetic breakthroughs and divine intervention in the year 2024. Draw nearer to Him, and He will draw nearer to you. The closer you are to Him, the better. Let the fire burn within your hearts. Now, as I received this word, the Lord led me to two passages of Scripture. The first one is from the book of Psalms, chapter 91, from verse 1 to verse 7. It says, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in Him I will trust. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He will cover thee with His feathers, and under His wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid of the terror by night. I'll read that once again. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come near you. And I want to tell you, my dear friend, as you make a conscious decision to draw nearer to God and to be so close to Him, in 2024 and beyond. This scripture will become real to you. Thou shall not be afraid for the terror by night. Whatever tragedy or whatever tragic thing may be happening around the world, you shall not be afraid. 
It goes in and says, Nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand may fall at thy side, ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come near thee. Make God your refuge, and it shall be well with you. The Bible also says in the Gospel of Luke chapter 24 from verse 32, it says, And they said to one another, Did not our hearts burn within us while he talked with us by the way, while he opened to us the scriptures? In this time period going forward, don't quench the fire. Pray as much as you can. Seek God and go deeper. Seek to know His Word. Seek to know Him. Because there will be great encounters with God in the year 2024. And the way that you will know that it is God that you are having an encounter with is through His Word. The devil can disguise himself as an angel of light. But he can't deceive you if you know the word of God. Sometimes the devil will try and fool us through visions or dreams trying to show up as an angel of light. But as we are close to God and we are filled with God's word, we'll immediately be able to tell this is not God. This is not an angel sent from God. And also, vice versa, we'll be able to tell when it is God speaking to us, when we are really and genuinely having an encounter with Him. We'll also be able to tell the voice of God as He's speaking to us through various different ways. Through people, through preachers, through family and friends around us, we'll be able to tell the voice of God. In saying that, let us go into a time of prayer. Let us begin by praising God for a few moments and just thank Him for the year 2023 and thank Him also for the year 2024. Father, we praise You and we thank You. Thank You for Your grace and Your mercy that is released in abundance. And thank You that it is not the end until You say it's the end. Thank You that You have given us the grace to make it this far in 2023 and I thank You that we shall make it into 2024. And I thank you that as we stay close to you, it shall be well with us. Because we choose to put our trust and our hope in you. We choose to put our full and our whole trust in you. Knowing that you are the God who speaks and you live. And you make a way where there seems to be no way. Therefore, make a way in my dear friend's life. And bless my dear friend mightily. I ask this in Jesus' name. And I thank you for it, Lord. Amen. Now, my dear friend, I want to pray for you in line with this word that I've shared. And I trust and I believe God is going to bless you. I encourage you connect in faith, comment and agree, believe and receive. Father, I pray for my dear friend. In the year of 2024, protect my dear friend from calamity. Protect my dear friend from appointments of disappointment. Protect my dear friend from disasters, natural disasters and man-made disasters. Protect my dear friend from sickness, from all sorts of attacks of the enemy. As my dear friend decides to draw nearer to you, protect my dear friend and bring divine breakthroughs. Protect my dear friend from deception that the enemy wants to bring in this world. Protect, my dear friend, from the deception that has already started. And keep, my dear friend, safe. Give, my dear friend, the grace, my dear friend who is tuned in, the grace to seek you and to know you more. And let, my dear friend, have genuine and real encounters with you. And be able to tell the difference between your voice and another voice. Give, my dear friend, a hunger and a desire to seek you and to read your word and to know you more even in the year 2024. Give, my dear friend, the strength and the grace to follow you 
and to follow in your ways. In a time and a season when the world is walking in different ways, that we may be the salt and the light of this world. Father, let this word that is said in the book of Psalms chapter 91 be fulfilled that says a thousand may fall at your side, 10,000 at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Give my dear friend the grace to enjoy and be blessed and to prosper in the year 2024 as they stay close to you, as they choose to deepen their relationship with you and strengthen their knowledge of you and your word. For your word says, those who know their God shall be strong and do great exploits. Give my dear friend the grace to do great exploits in the year 2024. And protect my dear friend's family, protect my dear friend's friends, protect the studio, protect each and every one of our team members. I pray the same for my dear friend's family members who are tuned in. Protect us all even in the year 2024 and from this period onwards, going forward, keep us safe, alive and in good health. And let the fire burn within our hearts, O God, as you speak to us, as you show us the way. I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you, my dear friend, and God strengthen your relationship with Him. May God enlighten the eyes of your heart that you may know Him. Those who are pure in heart shall see God. May God purify your heart so that you may see Him. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Thank you for watching. If you were blessed by this video and you would like to support us to keep making content like this, you can do so via PayPal or Patreon. The links are provided in the description. God bless you and goodbye.